just so our documents look nice and clean. Oh, that kind of rhymed. And go ahead and deselect this and click normal. And there you go. That's been painted. Um, okay, now we're going to go ahead and add this final layer right here. Again, match up the anchor points. There we are, that's matched up. Now we're going to go ahead and multiply this layer. And clean cut it. There we go. And here it is. Deselect. Go file. Normal. And we're going to go ahead and file, save, I'm trying to make sure our alpha is in here, yep. File, save as desktop, BMP, 32-bit, okay. Um, whoops, that's not clean cut, but oh well, we'll just leave it as is. Now, this is where I'm going to end the tutorial. Actually, no, we're going to continue it. I lied. We're going to go ahead and continue on from doing the right side now because I'm going to release this repaint on Fight Some Global once I finish it, so we might as well just go through it all the way. But, um, okay, that's simple as that. All right, so what we're going to check now very quick is I'm just going to check the right side for any differences. I'm not really noticing any differences from the left. So, we're just going to go ahead and then deselect the left side, enter the right side in, go ahead and take our flying information, oh, windows, windows, and extra right frame. If I'm right, the right side has an extra window on the Scandinavian. Uh, I'm actually wrong. Okay, so that's easy. Flying info comes off. From the photo we saw, and we're going to go ahead and edit our logo now. So deselect, edit, transform, flip horizontal, and we're going to go ahead and move our airlines layer over all the way to the left. Like so. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and move our Star Alliance logo. So edit, transform, flip horizontal. Just move it over like so. And we're going to go ahead and move. We're going to go ahead and then switch this right here. Oops. Edit, transform, flip horizontal, and then uh, and then the assert Viking part. Edit, transform, flip horizontal, and all we're doing right now is just yeah, flipping it, flipping all the words and anything with words basically horizontal because um, the right side has to be flipped, and then you will read it correctly but most repainters probably know that and this is what we hate about this side there we go apply and then switch our boxes and transform flip horizontal Edit, transform, flip horizontal. Let's reduce that size a little. There we go. And then switch our gear registration very quick. Switch, transform, flip horizontal. Rotate it like so. Apply. 
go back to our outline, select, merge visible, select inverse, control C, and then we're going to go ahead and open up our, this time, fuse right front. This is light texture though, so that's not the right one. Fuse front, and we're going to do the same thing just this time. Let me just, oh, damn. There we go. Just this time. Bummer. Alright, as you can see, I left one of the left side details on. There we go. And now we can merge it visible. So we're going to select inverse, control C, and go over to the front, delete that layer, control V. And we're going to go ahead and copy and paste. Use the anchor points, I'm about to just try and match that up, like an idiot. And clean cut the image. And usually this is the most boring part of repainting because you're so close to being done but yet so far with all these alinings that need to be done so um if you want to continue watching this tutorial be my guest but this is just about it for repainting this TDS 737 the only other thing you have to do is usually just add the texture folder and everything and continue from there and then just basically test it on your sim and get a photo and then life is good if you want to stick around and just watch it through if you have any final questions on what to do uh, be my guest but all I'm doing right now is just going to continue aligning these layers up and then I'm going to test out the repaint so zoom in back to 100% there we go. And do this, this. But yeah, if you're sticking through this video, what I'm going to do is then I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how to do the texturing folder and everything. And then go on to the, um, what do you call it, the, uh, the coding and everything. And then open up in Sim and check for any errors that there could be. And then if there are, I will fix it behind the scenes. So that's that. Delete that, delete. Delete, delete. Clean cut, deselect. And we're going to normal this up. Okay, good, good. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same for the top. So multiply. Oops, why am I not zoomed in? <laughs> My fault. There you go. 100%. Clean cut the layers again. And deselect. Deselect, no, oh, not deselect, cut. Okay, deselect now for real. Click normal, 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 file, save as desktop BMP 32-bit, okay. Now the final one is the rear. All right, so control V, let's do the tail first, as it's the easiest. Just make sure that anchor point's lined up. Now it is. Control V. Line this anchor point up. And go ahead and just select this. Like so. Delete. And delete. Deselect. File. Save as. 
desktop BMP 32 bit, okay. 32 bit, save, okay. Everything is painted now. We should have our files. Right one. I seem to be missing two for some reason. Hmm. So let me resave them now. File, save as desktop, BMP. It says this already exists. However, oops. Do you see it? I sure don't. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and search it then. TDS. Fuse rear T. Properties. Open file location. And it shows it right there. But, oh, duh. But I'm not seeing it on the desktop for some reason. Okay, so we're going to go and do it this way then. Go ahead and open this. And we're going to go ahead and just throw in these textures to DXT BMP. So file save as extended bitmap. Save, yes. Same with every other file. And we're just going to do that for all our files. Like so. Yes, okay. So we have a light splash for the L. This one, the engine's the front. And now, what I seem to be missing are two files. Which is very strange. Okay, so we're not going to worry about that. We're just going to go ahead and straight to our FSX shortcut. Sim objects. Airplanes. Scroll down to TDS. B737800. Go ahead and copy this. Go ahead and paste. Um, there we are. Rename this to Scandinavian Airlines. Scandinavian. Airlines underscore. You don't have to do this part, but I like to. I like to put the um, call sign. So ln-rgg. Okay, so rename this to ln-rgg. Okay. And now we're going to head and add our textures here. Okay, and did I do the rear? Yes, I did. And as you can see, I'm missing the fuse left rear file, so I must not have saved that or something. Fuse. Oh god, that's why. File, save as. BMP desktop. This is supposed to say L. That's why I'm missing it. 32 bit. So, file, save as. And this is what we're doing right now is just um, re uh, doing the file type just so it works in FSX. And now the front. Just so this works in FSX and everything. So the textures are actually, you can actually view the textures because there are points where if it's the wrong file, file type, the image, the plane may be black or it may be nice, maybe a nice aluminum texture. 
and it's not fun to look at. So if I save it as extended, save, yes, okay. And go ahead and place this in here now, move and replace. And now we open up our FSX, which, um, you know, who knows how long that could be. Alright, so, um, yeah, I guess this now would be a good time just to talk. Um, Flights and Global, we're working on doing a few things to upgrade it. Some things hopefully you guys will love to see. I would love to spill the beans, but I can't right now. Um, I'm working on a few more splash screen, splash screen templates. I already have a few sets out. It's, um, we got Singapore, Southwest, Delta, American, United. I want to say that's it. I say I've done five. And then I'm working on British Airways right now. Um, yeah, so if you have any, like, requests for splash screens, go ahead and send them in on Facebook, on Flights and Global's Facebook. Or if you just have any repaint requests, go ahead and send them in on Flights and Global's Facebook. We'd love to get them started and help out. And that's about that. This just is about done loading. And I just realized we forgot to put in a texture. We forgot our engines, textures. Okay. Let me just shut off Easy Dock. Okay. So now from here, I just realized that. Uh, TDS doesn't save their engine name the same as in the folder, so you'll have to rename this yourself. So just rename this to TDS 737 underscore engine underscore T. And go ahead and replace it. And then we're going to go to our aircraft here. Um, don't really touch, don't touch anything here other than this. Other than a few things, like your, uh, make this 5, of course, or whatever number that will be. Um, title, don't touch this except these final words, and that will just be your livery name. So, Scandinavian Airlines. Uh, model, don't touch, don't touch. Texture, just name this the texture that you gave it. Scandinavian, oops. Airlines, underscore. L N dash R G R G G. Okay, so L N dash R G G, and touch. You can name. You can touch A T C I D. To just L N dash R G G. Uh, flight number. Don't have to touch it. Uh, U I variation. You can name this to. Scandinavian Airlines LN dash RGG and then we can go file save escape select change and now we wait for this part to load as this tutorial comes up to an hour that will be broken up into what, three parts 20 minutes each probably Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and scroll down to the new plane. There it is right here. And voila, you have...